Good evening, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? Um, what really fascinates me the most about the Yoke Up cult here on YouTube is that these people have like this nervous tick that they just can't shake, and that is to um, say one thing and act in a very different way, to basically contradict themselves at every fucking chance, at every turn. Every opportunity they get to contradict themselves with their actions and their words, they take it. They can't get rid of it. They can't stop doing it. It's never going to fucking end. But especially the little, especially like the little mantra that they like to repeat, you know, people only dislike us because we are the ones telling the truth. Regardless of how many fucking times people say, no, I don't like you for A reason, B reason, C reason, they just go, no, no, none of those are relevant. That ain't why. You just don't like me because I'm just chock full of the goddamn truth and you can't stomach it, you evil atheist fucking bastard pig heathen fuckhead. Whatever it is, right? And, and that's what they go to. And it's and simultaneously they block like it like it's a part of that nervous tick. Up oh, dissenting opinion, dissenting opinion. Block, block, block. Remove, block. And, and they don't realize that well may, maybe you don't like me because I'm telling you the truth. And it's like shitting all over your big delusional parade, and you just don't fucking like it. So anyway, why am I making this video? I'm making this video today in response to one of the members of the Yoke Up Cult who goes by the name Yahweh or No Way. And what infuriated me, aside from the video that I will post over here, titled Abortion is Murder, what infuriated me more than the video itself was the comment section. They're all members of Yoke Up's little cult, and they're all, it's all the Yoke Up circle jerk, localized bullshit, five stars, pat on the back, let me jerk you off, let me play with your balls, you're a really special guy, this is a great video, even though you put absolutely no fucking thought or effort into making it whatsoever, you just talked out of your ass for five minutes, and that's good enough for us. Fuck that. Fuck that. You, my friend, Brian, Yahweh or no way, are going to get the shitty ratings and negative comments that you deserve for this piece of shit over in my sidebar. Okay? You're, first of all, you pan the camera over to your son, who's asleep in the same fucking room as you are, and, and, as if that's an argument. Look at my beautiful child, he's 10 years old, he's alive, he's healthy, he's well, and had his mother chosen to go to the abortion clinic, I wouldn't have him today. You say, every one of God's creations, assuming, again, that all of us are the creation of your particular God, like a fucking retard that you are, um, every one of those creations are special, no matter how those creations come into the world, regardless of the brutal manner that a, that a life can be conceived on this fucking planet, regardless of the fact that some women get held down, beaten, and fucking raped. And, and what you want them to do, being the good Christian man that you are, is you want them to carry that baby to term. You want them to, to have that life inside of their body, something that you have no experience with, something that you will never experience, yet you feel like you have the right to uh, uh, command a woman to endure that. You feel like that's your right because Big Daddy God says that's what you should do. You didn't put any thought into this. You're not interested in thought. None of you are. You're a bunch of fucking assholes. All right? Now, now here's my question to you, dick. My question to you is, if you're such a fucking anti-abortion type of fella, you know, I'm, and every one of God's creations is so fucking special, I mean, and you really believe that a woman who's been brutally fucking raped should carry her baby to term? And why do we have laws against that sort of violation? If you're, if, if every fucking creation on this planet is precious, no matter how that creation comes about, that must mean, in some woods of Jordan Calvinist fucked up way, God planned that rape. You really have to believe that God actually meant for that woman to get hit in the fucking head with a bottle in the Walmart parking lot and raped. That's what you fucking believe. And you have no problem making a video instructing women that this is how they should conduct themselves in the event that they are victimized by some fucking asshole. You see, you don't put any thought into this. You're a dick. And I hope, I hope that everyone who watches this fucking video will watch the video that I posted in the sidebar and will give your video the fucking rating and commentary that it has earned rightfully. You, my friend, are a fucking idiot. A fucking idiot. Alright? That's all there is to it. Nobody's interested. 
and your imaginary friend's morality. It fucking sucks. It doesn't work anymore. It's time to get over it and grow the fuck up. For now, we'll start with you. Just to make it clear to you, Brian, what I'm proposing here, what I propose is that you become YouTube's first, first and only, mind you, pro or anti-abortion, pro-rape Christian. The reason I suggest that is that you have stated that every creation, every pregnancy, every time a child is conceived, it is a precious, it is a precious, pardon me, gift from your God. Become the first pro-rape Christian. So what? So what? She got raped. That's God's will. So every time we hear a story on the news, or there's a big deal made about some woman who's been victimized, you can be out there on the front line with your protest sign going, this is all a part of God's plan. That's what I want you to do. If you can't do that in good conscience, if, if you can't really do what I've suggested to you, then that kind of shoots down your every life is precious argument immediately, doesn't it? Not that there's not like a hundred thousand other fucking ways to go about dismantling and carrying your video to shreds, but I challenge you to do that. Next time you see on the news, woman's been raped, I want you down at the hospital where she's getting her examination, protesting it, saying that that man should not be imprisoned because he was just doing what he was supposed to be doing, violating that woman because he was only trying to create another one of God's precious little creations. He was only doing your God's work for him. It's all a part of the plan, right, Brian? I look forward to seeing video footage of you doing that. Yeah. Bye.